Hello, friends. Welcome back. Today, we're going to add an accessible date picker. Forms often include an input field, which can be used to create several different form controls. The type attribute of this element indicates what kind of input will be created. You may have noticed text and submit input types in prior challenges. The HTML5 introduced an option to specify a date field. Depending on browser support, a date picker shows up in the input field. When it's, fo when it's in focus, which makes fi uh, filling in a form easier for all users. For older browsers, the type will default to text, so it helps to show users expected date format in the label or as a placeholder text just in the case. Here's an example. So we set the label for an input one and we say enter the date. And then we have the input, the type is date, and then we've got the ID and the name are equal to each other. So CamperCat is setting up a Mortal Kombat tournament and wants to ask his competitors to see what date works best. We want to add an input tag with a type attribute of date. So we're going to add an input tag with a type which is equal to date. And these can be self-closing tags. And as you can see, we've already uh, added it here with the preferred date and a submit button we have right here label preferred date and then we have the submit button I've just commented out this but now I'm going to recomment it and now you can see there is a drop down menu with selection opportunities for the date and um, and we want to have the name attribute be equal to date as well so we already have the type is equal to date add an ID oh we want to add an ID attribute so an ID attribute which is called pick date and then we finally want to add a name attribute which is date as well and then if we run the test this should pass okay great hope you guys enjoyed this one this is just a uh, very um writing web applications you're going to be writing there's going to be often times where you're in you're allowing users to input form data so this is really useful um, understanding the input and the way that it interacts with your web application will be critical for you to write good web application so I think you uh, hope you enjoy this one. Uh, thank you. Uh, we'll see you in the next lesson.